what kind of opportunity do you see see to get up to the quarterback on Sunday? It's a big opportunity, you know, because uh, what I see with the film, you know, he's staying in the pocket a little bit longer than usually what other quarterbacks do. And he's holding the ball a little bit longer. Other quarterbacks usually get out like 2.6 seconds, and he's holding it a little bit longer trying to scramble and extend plays, and I think that's a big opportunity for the game. How good did you think you were last week after going back and watching it? I think I was all right. Just all right? Yeah, all right. I'm Why never, all right? I'm never going to be the best. I'm never going to be good. I'm just going to keep working and get better every week. Do you stand by your trash comment that you said post game after watching film? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jalen, how do you think Vic Fangio has helped your game so far? I know it's only a few games in, but how do you think he's helped you? I think he's helping, he's helping a lot. You know, just when he first got in here, starting off with, oh, we need to do this more, do that more, or run more, and stuff like that. I think that all helps with me and everybody else on the team. That's, that's a deep one. What's he like behind the scenes, Vic? He's cool, calm. This morning I just walked in and you know, I kind of walked, just walked past him to go to my seat. He was like, hey, you going to say good morning? I was like, oh, my bad, my bad. Good morning, morning. But he, he's very cool, calm, quiet, and he'll, he'll talk. No, I didn't. All right. Well, while you were critical of your performance calling it trash, it felt like last game was a silence the critics type of game for you. So how do you build off of that and carry it forward? I don't know, man. It's just it's just football. You know, it's not trying to silence nobody. I'm here to play for my team and try to get a dub and help the best way possible. I'm not here try, trying to silence nobody or say, oh, nah, look at me do this and that. Nah, I'm just here play, playing for the team and getting a dub every week. What is the key to that consistency, though? What would you like to build off after last week? Uh, just having the right mindset and coming in and just having a good connection in the group as a D-line. You know, we got the guys on the edge who we need to talk to and make sure that the rushes are even and that we don't go past the quarterback or we're not on the same page or we got three men on one side and one defensive player on the other side and the rushing is just looking crazy. We got to make sure we're all on the same page. Jordan Davis got a sack, uh, obviously, in that game. How do you see improvements uh, in his game this season? You see improvements on the field. Y'all see it, man. My boy moving out there. He got a sack. I wish I was on the field when we got a little celebration, but I wasn't on the field, but he seen me point out and we gave, gave each other a nod and we knew what it was. Jalen, yeah, when, when you yeah, I have to show it on the field. We do it like the start of the game, but when we do it after the sack, it's going to be nice. Y'all don't like it. When you have a game like that, do you almost expect to slide, slide protection your way this week? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, I, I expected it early, but, you know, I got surprised that I didn't get the slide and I took advantage of that. Does it surprise you at all how good BG's been? Man, BG, no, it doesn't. He's been like this through camp. Bringing in energy every day, I I just know he's going to be a big impact on this year. That first game in Tampa last year was like as, as well as you played last year. It seemed. How are you now as a player compared to that night? I don't know. You know, I'm improving every week, uh, getting better. You know, I had an all season to improve more, and we got a couple. We had a couple games to improve before we played Tampa. Now we at the Tampa week where I feel good, I feel healthy. I remember that night. It was pretty special for you. That your family was there. Oh, yeah, Warren was Sapp was there. Well, what's it like for you going by? I know you were there during the playoffs, but what's it like there going this year? I don't know. It, it's saying it's football, man. We just got to got, got yeah, excuse me. We just got to go out there and ball out and try to get the dub. And that's what that's what's gonna make everybody happy, not just me showing up to Florida. I know, I know you guys aren't really a couple more wired to play like revenge games and like that. But for you personally, like the way the season ended, do you feel like a certain way about going back there to kind of prove yourself a little bit? Uh, nah, you know they they see what's on film. Every game, not every game, but like they see what's on film. We come in there, we come in to give our best and try to get the dub. You know, they won the last time we played, which was in the playoffs, but we don't look at that. We hear where we where we at now. And, you know, just trying to get the dub. When did, uh, when did Vic break out to the six man front? Is that something you were working on in your training camp, or is that something? Well, he started again. He started again. Um, how how early did Vic break, break out that six man front? Was that back in training camp, or is that something he just keeps building? That's something we just keep building and, you know, he brings it in, he trusts it in, he believes it. You know, we, uh, certain times we got, uh, man, I'm forgetting names now, but we got, he lined up at the end position, which was surprisingly surprised. Man, I can't even talk about it. He's done bright, man, I got to go. But, uh, uh, you know, we got DTs at the DM position, and, you know, it's just, it's different, but we just working with In the locker room, you said, in the, in, the, in the locker back of the game, you said, how, how do you kind of approach a week like this? Um, might not have AJ or Devontae and stuff. Like, how, yeah. how do you see that? Um, for myself personally, I always try to approach it the same way. Um, even when they were here, um, you know, 
Uh, you never know when your number's going to get called. Uh, so you don't ever want to be in this position um, and kind of be in panic mode. So uh, from week one, I've always been um, you know, preparing the same way as if I was in the game. So uh, now that that moment is actually here, it's not any panic, and it's just what I'm, what I'm used to. Yeah, you've obviously been through it before, you know, being a veteran and everything like that. Does that kind of help you prepare as well? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, um, I've kind of seen every aspect in this league now. Uh, I've seen being a starter for a number of years. I've seen, um, you know, being injured. I've seen last year uh, being inactive. And now this year I've seen being cut and being on practice squad. So I've seen kind of every rank you can possibly be. So, yeah, it, it definitely helps. Have you dealt with that? Um. You know, obviously this 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 year, this and what just happened was kind of tough for me, honestly. Um, you know, a lot of pride in the way of things. Um, obviously, you know, I had the injury in camp, which kind of, you know, didn't help the situation. Um, you know, so it, it was tough, but I uh, relied on my faith, number one, always, and relied on my family. In a week like this, are AJ and Devontae saying things to you guys, or does it conversations look any different, knowing that you might have a bigger role this week? Yeah, um, 100%. I mean, those guys have always been supportive, um, you know, especially when AJ, you know, when he went out, he's the first thing he, he kicks into is kind of that supportive teammate, and, uh, you know, it, that's big coming from a guy like him. Same thing with Smitty. Um, you know, talked to him yesterday, and he was just like, you know, hold it down this week. Uh, you know, you're more than capable. Uh, you've made play, plays in this league, so um, support from those guys are huge, and, um, you know, it, it's it gets the energy in the room up, and, um, you know, we know we can go make plays, for sure. How tough is it, like, not trying to do too much and be like AJ? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't think uh, we have any of that in the room. Um, you know, I think everybody is uh, is old enough. Uh, obviously, we got Johnny the rookie, but everybody's pretty much old enough to know, like, you know, what we're capable of, what we're good at. And, um just, just doing what the team asks of us, doing what our coaches ask of us, doing what Jalen asks of us, and um, you know, playing our role and playing it well. Um, you know, we know if we do that. You know, we can uh, go in there and be victorious. And what about Johnny? You know, you've seen him yeah. at great length. Is he ready for this opportunity? <laughs> oh yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, Johnny, man, he's uh, from day one. He's been, you know, a playmaker. Um, I think we've seen it in OTAs. We've seen it in camp. Um, you know, now he's going to get more opportunities, and uh, you know, I'm happy for him. Uh, as he walks in, but I'm happy for him. Uh, he's more than ready, man. He puts the time in, he puts the effort in, uh, so he's more than ready. You've spoken a lot about this well in the right? Yeah, yeah. Um, is it easier said than done? Like, it's easier to say, like, uh, to come back and sign on and practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what's, what's the, if you can take me in, kind of your, your thought process? With yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, my pride was in a way, for sure. And, um, you know, once I did get let go, um, and they told me, um, you know that they wanted me to come back on practice squad. I immediately was like, no, like that's that's not me. That's not like that's not for me. Um, and then I, I went home, um, talked to my wife, obviously prayed a ton, uh, and I I kind of shut the door on it. Like I talked to my agent and he was like, do you want to do practice squad? And I kind of just shut the door. I was like, nah, like I'm cool. Like you can tell them no. Um, and then more time went on, about a couple hours, and um, I was sitting there, kind of just thinking about what would be next uh, if I would get a call from another team or if it was the end of the road like you know what I'm saying I'm kind of just going through you know both of those possibilities and um, I started praying and I kid you not like I prayed to God and I told him I said if I'm meant to be here in Philly I allow that door to open back up and I kid you not 10 minutes later Nick called me on the phone and um, you know he was kind of just talking me through things and like you know we want you a part of the team obviously it's not what you wanted to hear but we want you here on practice squad and you know, I immediately knew that I was supposed to be here because I literally just talked to my Lord and Savior about it. So, um, you know, uh, I don't mean to get all churchy on y'all, but that's 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 like something that's big to me and something that I believe in. So, um, you know, it worked itself out. And now, I mean, it's week four, and now I'm <laughs> have a bigger role. So things work out. Um, it helped build confidence, helped build the togetherness, um, helped build a, a nice foundation that we can rely on each other. Uh, play complimentary football, and you know, I think the the best takeaways from that game is how we continue to show up for each other, regardless of what happened. You know, whether it was offense coming off the field, defense was there waiting, waiting for us, just dapping us up, and and vice versa. So it's a pretty special moment down there. We hear all the time how special and how close this group is, and you hear Nick Sirianni talk about that a lot. I feel like at times it's over talked about, but to you, how much does it mean that that's something that this team really is relying on right now? I mean, it's one of the guys on the team. It's something that I think is a necessary thing to have. You got to have that connection. 
you know you don't want to not it's hard to show up for somebody if you don't know if you don't have a connection and that's you know that's just with everyday life and when you get to spend they give us a lot of time to to have moments like that during the day to, to be able to connect and further that bond and you see a lot of us we we all eat together defense and offense and special teams we all mix and i think it's you know when you continue to make those those steps in the relationship to you know, further that connection, you can bring that onto the field and, and continue to show up for your brother on the field time and time again. I know it's not 1v1 on the practice field with Jalen Carter and watching him do what he just did last week. Like, How exciting is that to see the, the progression of where he was going? Uh, I mean, you know, you can talk about expectations. Everybody you know, expected Jay to, to start that you know, the year off like that, but you know, I think everything with everything, it, there's always time involved, and you know, I, th I think the extra pep in his step from, from the week before helped a lot, and you know, we're a pretty special player to have on our team, and we're pretty lucky. You know, that was an outstanding game by him. He really changed that game for us, and for him to keep showing up for us, again, truly special, and truthfully, I didn't, I didn't expect less. Like, that, that's what I, I didn't expect less than that, man. I, I expected him to do that. He was a hungry dog. He was a hungry dog. What did you make of Fred and his opportunity? Fred made the most uh, out of his opportunity, man, and I'm not surprised by that. I really am not. He's he's taken a big step this year, especially during camp, and you, you saw how serious he took every day. He was showing up to work, he had a routine, and you know, we hadn't seen that before with Fred. And when he came this year, you just saw, you just knew that you know, it was, it was going to be his time. When his time was going to get called, he was going to show up, and... He showed out. You used uh, the discrepancy in the past explaining going from, from left to right. Um, in his case, I guess the no boat mm -hmm. spends most of his time on, on left to go in on the right side yeah. of the game. What's, what's that like for you? I'll tell you what, I've done that as well, but not as well as Fred has. Uh, so another, you know, tip my hat off to him because that's pretty impressive to not get as many right tackle reps uh, during the week and then just going in the game like that and you know, really holding it down there and, and stepping up when we needed him. So I'm so proud of him. I told him at the game, you know, uh, before we, when he took over lane spot, I just said, I need everything from you. I need you. And at the end of the game, I, I hugged him on the sideline and I said, oh, I'm proud of you. And it was, a, it was a pretty special moment. I think that was the moment he said he was going to cry. That's when I hugged him. <laughs> right, Fred? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we saw in that mic'd up piece that you were calling Dallas Goddard slow. Have you guys addressed that yet? I didn't say slow. Those weren't my words. Uh, you can uh, take what I said about the trailer uh, in your own way, but uh, we have addressed it. Uh, he said uh, he, he actually laughed at it. He said it was pretty funny. He's cracking up. Um, but uh, what they didn't show um, was immediately, because I forgot I was mic'd up, um, I went up to him and I said, hey, I, I said some bad things about you. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. Would so. you have scored? Would I have scored? Hell no. I would not have scored. No way. But I'm just saying, if you're that wide open, come on now. What, what challenges does a Todd Bowles defense present? I mean, you can think of every single blitz in the in the playbook, and the guy has it. You know, he has so many different uh, presentations and um, coverages that he can bring it from, the blitz, and uh, you know, that's what makes him so special. He's got the personnel and the playbook. What are the emotions going back down there after after the playoff game? For the first, going back down there for the first time since the playoff game. Yeah, I mean it's it's been hard this week to to not make it personal, you know, because it's uh, you know they sent us home. But you got to think, you know, this is a new year. We have a new team. They have a new team, um, and we just have to execute that game plan that we have going down there this week. So again, this year it's been about you know not making anything too personal, um, learning from what what we. You know, the mistakes that we made last year and going down there with our team and executing the game plan this week, which is going to be fun. How much more prepared is this offense this time going into Tampa? Uh, I think we're pretty prepared this year with uh, Kellen and, and Jalen calling the uh, the protections, and so it's going to be fun. In the summer, you said, you said we're talking about last year. Mm -hmm. the, the question you probably got second most beyond the way last season, and it was the blitz question, mm -hmm. right? Are, are you ready to put that to bed? Like, is this game a chance to put that to bed? Do you think that's already been 